I'm Stephen Foskett, organizer of Tech Field Day and Gestalt IT, and we are here in Fall River, Massachusetts for the opening of a brand new data center and briefing center with Congruity 360. And I just had to spend a little time with uh, Major, Mayor uh, Jaisal Carrera, the youngest right. mayor in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, um, who just cut the ribbon on this fantastic new data center. So thank you very much for joining oh, us. My pleasure. This is exciting. This is yeah. exciting for the city of Fall River. Absolutely. And I, I mean, it's got to be. So I grew, I grew up in Connecticut, so I know a little bit about Massachusetts, a little bit about mill towns. And um, my, my feeling has always been, you know, what are we going to do with these massive buildings, right. you know? And I'm sure that that's how it was with the people in Fall River as well. You're absolutely right. I mean, here, here you have a mill building that uh, when I was growing up was an active mill. Yeah. I mean, textiles and all kinds of products. The infinite spandex here. here. That's right. That's right. Right. right? And, and today you've got these old buildings that some are still mills and being actively yep. used for manufacturing products. I was just next door at one that's manufacturing textiles and they want to really mm -hmm. uh, meld the two between tech and textile. I think that's an exciting space. But then you have a building like this that's been transformed into a you know 21st century, state-of-the-art, mm -hmm. um, world-renowned probably uh, uh, data center, yeah. and right in our heart of downtown. It's yeah. unbelievable. So when you look at all the different mills, whether it's uh, conversions to loft apartments, data centers in this case, which I think is really unique, uh, manufacturing spaces, office spaces, uh, it really is an incredible, incredible feat for the city of Fall River. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. The, in order to have a data center, you have to have power, you have to have, um, you know, space. Yep. Um, you know, this building, uh, we just heard from, uh, you know, the folks who, who designed this thing saying that this building has great bones mm -hmm. because it's so sturdily built. Yeah, and this is not, I mean, it's not going anywhere. Not going, exactly. Full of granite and 200-year-old uh, and yep. trees. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And he said, uh, and, and then the other thing you really need is uh, connectivity. And it sure. turns out that Fall River is right at some of the, you know, nexus of some of the, the regional communications as well. That's correct, yeah. I mean, the fiber optics networks that are here on Bedford Street, um, you know, again, I'm not a tech person necessarily, so I guess they're, they're what the, the data center yeah. needs, which is just, a, a, I guess, a, a really um, a nice it's a good. Benefit. It's a nice coincidence, yeah, yeah exactly. It is a nice coincidence. Yeah. And, uh, and again, I think it's really unique when you have an old mill town like Fall River, uh, to have a data center in downtown, right? We have a population that maybe is not familiar with data centers, mm -hmm. right? They hear about it, they watch it on the news, they hear about Google and Tesla mm -hmm. and all these big data centers. And then to think that we'd have one right in our downtown in an old mill, which has been so familiar to our residents is really um, amazing. And it's a cool story that we want to promote even more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, but speaking of that, so as a mayor of a town like this, um, you know, you, you've, you've had some, you know, initiatives to help rebuild the, the, the the infrastructure here on the street you mentioned. What can a mayor do to encourage uh, redevelopment and revitalization of a place like Fall River? I think it's the infrastructure dollars. I, th I think that's really important. So we were fortunate enough in my first term, I just got reelected to my second term, but in my first term we were fortunate enough to get a um, infrastructure uh, bond passed uh, mm -hmm. for $10 million, multiple districts. This is one of those districts because it's a corridor that literally is from the highway down to our waterfront which has seen probably about $150 million of investment from the state uh, begin to really transform. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see us really make the street nice, which sounds just um, you know uh, small, but it's really a big deal mm -hmm. because it makes it more inviting. It makes people want to invest more money here. And you're going to see coffee shops continue to pop up. You've got Parcellas up the street, Portugalia Marketplace right across the street, which is you know, you know know renowned for the entire region for great Portuguese cuisine. And it's a, basically a Whole Foods for Portuguese cuisine, so it's really exciting. Uh, but this whole district is going to get better and better and better. And mm -hmm. again, I can't, I can't stress enough the importance of a data center and the significance of that, a data center in the heart of all that, um, a state-of-the-art place where people from around the world are either calling in or coming here physically or, or using services that um, Congruity pr provides, uh, and they're knowing about Fall River. They're asking, where, where is this data center located? And it's Fall River, Massachusetts. That's a big deal for us. Well, in, uh, you know, uh, quite a few years in tech, I guess almost 25 years in tech, I don't think I've ever said the words Fall River in a business context right. <laughs> until <laughs> now. Exactly. And that's, exactly. Uh, that's a big change. So a huge change. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for uh, stopping in and saying hello. My pleasure. Um, and uh, those of you, if you want to learn a little bit more about what they've done here at Congruity 360, we've got a fantastic tour of this data center. Uh, up at gestaltit.com. Just check it out there, and uh, you can find us on YouTube at youtube slash gestaltit. You can also find us at uh, techfieldday.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.